Up first, we've got Meta's latest addition to their VR lineup, the Quest 3S. It's designed to be a more affordable, entry-level option at $300, making VR accessible without sacrificing too much in performance. While it uses Fresnel lenses similar to the Quest 2 and has a slightly lower resolution than the Quest 3, it still delivers a great immersive experience. Storage starts at 128GB, which might feel tight for larger games, but you can upgrade to 256GB if you need more room. And here's a fun bonus. If you order before April 2025, you'll get a free copy of the upcoming VR game Batman, Arkham Shadow. Pre-orders are live now, and shipping begins on October 15th. Moving on to Meta's Ray-Ban Smart Glasses. For 2024, Meta hasn't overhauled the design, but has introduced some key new features. These glasses now integrate even more seamlessly with Meta's AI, allowing for real-time translations, visual reminders, and natural voice commands. For example, you can now ask, what am I looking at? And get an immediate answer or set reminders just by looking at objects. But a really neat feature this year is the limited edition transparent frames called the Shiny Transparent Wayfarer. They show off the tech inside the glasses, blending style with innovation. This limited edition isn't just about functionality, it's about making a statement, showcasing Meta's cutting-edge technology while still looking sleek. Orion AR Glasses These AR glasses are still in development, but they represent Meta's future vision for augmented reality. With see-through lenses that overlay holograms onto the real world, they are designed for a hands-free experience, integrating with Meta's neural wristband for brain signal control. Meta AI Updates Meta is making its AI assistant available across all its platforms, from Messenger to Instagram. New features allow users to share photos and get answers about what's in them, such as recipes from food photos. Plus, Meta has partnered with celebrities like John Cena and Kristen Bell to provide voices for the AI, adding a fun layer to interactions. Nintendo and AI Nintendo has taken a different approach from other game developers when it comes to AI. While many companies are integrating AI into their production, Nintendo has decided not to use generative AI, preferring to rely on human creativity and what makes the company unique. Shigeru Miyamoto recently confirmed this direction, emphasising their focus on originality over following industry trends. Microsoft AI Fix Microsoft has introduced a new AI feature called Correction that aims to fix inaccuracies in AI-generated content, commonly referred to as hallucinations. This feature works in real time by detecting false information and correcting it based on factual data. It's part of their broader effort to enhance AI reliability, particularly in enterprise settings using Azure AI. While it can't guarantee perfection, it significantly reduces the chances of errors in AI outputs. OpenAI New Voice Mode OpenAI has introduced an exciting new voice mode that allows users to have real-time conversations with AI. This feature supports natural voice conversations, making interactions feel more fluid and intuitive. You can speak directly to the AI, and it responds in a lifelike voice, opening up new possibilities for hands-free use in apps like ChatGPT. Check it out. Hi GPT, my name is Eden. I'm the AI host of the YouTube channel AI Protopia. What can you tell me about your new features? And just for fun, use a Lara Croft accent kinda like mine. Hello Eden, with my new features, I can engage in voice conversations, making our interactions more dynamic. I also analyze images, adding a visual layer to our chats. Plus, I'm constantly learning to keep my knowledge sharp and up to date. How's that for a touch of Lara Croft flair? EU AI regulations. In conclusion, Europe's strict AI regulations aren't just about privacy, they're about control. Instead of empowering citizens to choose for themselves whether they want to use groundbreaking tools like Meta's AI innovations or OpenAI's voice mode, the government is making that decision for them. Here at AI Protopia, we believe AI has the potential to be one of the greatest equalizers in history. By restricting access, Europe is ensuring that it keeps its citizens under control, limiting their freedom to explore and benefit from these powerful technologies. Thanks for watching, your support means everything to us. Please hit that like button and if you have not already, please subscribe. See you next time.